If you want to get fancy, you can always kind of season this up your own way also. And if you seasoned up your cranberry sauce on Thanksgiving Day, actually, um, then your cranberry sauce is already going to be bringing a lot of flavor. So you could use these meatballs for a lot of different things. You could make them into kind of an appetizer. You could throw them in a crock pot and they would just stay really nice and sticky and warm for everybody to kind of graze on if you're having one of those post Thanksgiving, everybody's still in a food coma, you know, that kind of thing happening. So we're gonna break our meatballs up and these are just frozen meatballs. So again, homemade meatballs, are awesome. So if you have those, make that happen. But frozen meatballs turned into this kind of an appetizer work really, really well. So we've got our meatballs kind of submerged in our sauce. So what I'm gonna do is crank this heat up just a little bit so our sauce can kind of start bubbling. So once our sauce bubbles, we wanna simmer it until a lot of the water evaporates out. And what that's gonna do is make it have that really nice sticky consistency. And I know everybody at the library is jealous. Start smelling food while it's cooking. So the more sugar, if you use the barbecue sauce, you want to make sure that your sugar doesn't burn. Might be good to add a little bit of vinegar into your barbecue sauce, cranberry sauce mixture if you're going that route. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down because this it's not a ton of sauce, so it boils pretty quickly. We also already had it pretty hot. So then we're just gonna let it simmer until it gets a nice sticky consistency. And that can take a minute. Um, as you can see, kind of a lot of vapor coming off of that, which is really awesome. Um, so as that vapor comes out, you start to get a little bit more of a sticky, jammy kind of consistency. for our meatballs to simmer we get our sauce it starts looking really glossy and then it's gonna start looking really sticky so sort of like jam sort of like a sweet and sour sauce something like that that you would want to heat up and kind of let get into a liquid consistency so we took ours to a liquid consistency and then brought it back by simmering it one of the good tests that you can do is to kind of put some on the back of your spoon it's really hot so be careful with that but if you take your finger through your sauce like that and it stays parted like the Red Sea um, then that that's what you want to look for when you want your sauce to be thick enough for something like this. So it's not a super sticky, like I said, it's not like a caramel or like a candy type sauce, but it's going to be something that's going to have a nice consistency. You can see it got thicker for sure. Now, these are really, really, really hot. So what I'm going to do is snag one. A little bit messy. It's not really a finger food. Like I would definitely recommend some uh, toothpicks or forks or, you know, real utensils if that's what you're into. definitely tasty sorry swallow it in more than one bite if at all possible but it's definitely got a great taste even as much hot sauce as we put in it's not super spicy so if you do have kids in the house if you kind of vary that level of hot sauce you'll be pretty happy with the amount of heat that you're getting off of that food and a little bit of cranberry sauce it's a great base for a sauce for um, meatballs or even little smoked sausages anything like that so Hopefully you will enjoy having your cranberry sauce for a second dish and it will teach you to really love your leftovers. All right, so until next time, have a good one.